the struggle and the creation, the hard work, the discipline of it, that really helps create something that you're proud to share. It's not just something that you consume. It's not like any other alcoholic beverage in that sense. It's really something to be experienced. I don't think there's very many things in this plant that have so much depth that people can describe like wine and people can experience them with their friends or family with food. It really is a great addition to many, many aspects of life. Wine is about bringing friends and family together, about shared experiences, enjoying something that is elevated and different from everyday life. It's really taking all of the senses, all of the experiences and combining it in together in a glass and it makes wine extremely special. My name is Karen Fontanella. I am the owner of Fontanella Family Winery along with my husband, Jeff Fontanella. Welcome to Mount Veter. I'm Jeff Fontanella. Um, I'm the guy who convinced my wife, Karen, that this would be easy. <laughs> you know, I was at UC Davis. I was like a good son. I was gonna be a doctor and I was pre-med and I kind of wandered into this fermentation science, viticulture and enology when they put me in the lab of a winery. So I begged my way into the cellar. I needed to get my hands dirty, get my cellar boots on, and get immersed in it. So for the next 15 years, I was in the cellar. I was building my tool belt, if you will. And it really drew me in. That, that creative aspect of it was really what pulled me into wine. I mean, in my heart, I knew that someday I would be making my own wine. So that was the ultimate goal. So Jeff and I decided to start the winery. I was a young lawyer in Napa. Jeff was a young winemaker. Somehow I convinced her to quit her job as a successful attorney and like, let's start this winery. We didn't have any kids and we thought, you know, what we really want um, is we really want to have something that is our own. We started searching and we found this great little piece on Mount Veter, which was really in this interesting microclimate on the southern slopes of the mountain. We really felt like this was the place that we really wanted to put our roots down and, and really start our family and start our winery. Two 29-year-olds, I mean, this was, this was not an easy task. And somehow we were crazy enough to pull it off. If you could imagine the best chef you can think of, if you said you can only make food from the farm that you grew, that's a little bit what the estate is like. Having the control from beginning to end, pre-grapes and preparation, all the way through to mature vineyard and harvesting. Building that into the wine really is, God, it's just a huge goal. It, it, it was something that um, you know, we hope will live on for a long time. The whole winemaking process, I think it, it kind of gets glorified and used in a certain way, but the truth behind it all is there is a ton of hard work and there's a ton of great people that are involved in it. They are vital to everything we do. Our family is not just you know, my husband and I and our kids, but our family is really our wine family. And everyone that partakes in, in making the wine and, and helping us, it's really a collaborative effort and something special because so much of it is done so hands-on and so meticulously for our customers. Gosh, harvest is the nucleus that ties it all together. Once we get that real busy hum to harvest, there's just a rhythm to it. During harvest time, when the fruit comes in, it gets harvested, it gets brought to the winery, and once it's gone through all the processes, um, if we add yeast to it, it starts the fermentation. That cycle and that, that, that work that goes into it, I mean, that's what really validates the reward at the end of the day. Most of the time I don't have some grand idea, I didn't, I didn't take that course or whatever that was, but more focused just on a brick by brick, I mean really getting this thing and the foundation in, um, that's really been where all the attention has been. We're constantly thinking about the legacy and where our winery is going and what our wines are doing um, over time. Knowing that one day our children are also going to be farming the same great vines and that hopefully our grandchildren and beyond will be able to take what we've started and make something special and their own as they grow up and, and really mature over time. I really don't think we can remove the wine from our family. It just really is interwoven and interconnected in every way. Every winery needs to have a winery dog and we have two. Hobie and Trigger, they're my two golden retrievers. When you come to the winery, hopefully you'll see their golden tails wagging. You really get to have the lifestyle that people really envision when it comes to owning and running a winery. 
Our children are here sometimes uh, helping out and getting some reps in and learning about the wine experience. And it's something that we get to do every day, but it's something that we get to expose our children to. And they're part of the winemaking process, and there's not a lot of industries where you can not only live on the property, but also share what you do every day with your children, and we feel extremely fortunate to do that every day. I think it's part of our DNA. These kids, these kids get it, and, and hopefully their kids will too. And I think any humble winemaker, you're really submitting to what the vintage is giving you. We're not trying to push grapes to fit in a certain box. You're more patient, you're listening. It really gives you a, a discipline that provides you direction in life. So the beauty of the cycle, it really ties you to the vintage, it ties you to nature. It's the hard work and it's the sweat equity that goes into it that's the most, I think, the most rewarding thing. We invite you to become part of our family, to experience what it's like to be on the Fontanella Ranch, and we hope that you would walk away really understanding how special it is to do what we do and then get to enjoy it out of a glass of wine. Yeah, come to visit Fontanella. Uh, yeah, I mean, day drinking at home is like a no-no, so you want to do that here. It's much more appropriate. <laughs>